And this is why I ended up jacking off at my grandma's place because I was. I'm not blaming the issues with Andy Podcast. I'm just saying that uh, I got my liver panel back in today and I uh, have elevated uh, liver enzymes that are going to cause me problems in the future. Uh-oh. What future? Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly, Andy. I told my wife this morning, I go, oh, man, no, I'm scared. And she just looked at me. She goes, no, you're not. I go, I forget you know me. It's one of those. Uh, it's one of those classic good news, bad news situations. Yeah. <laughs> I looked it up. Elevated GGT levels could mean cancer. She goes, liver cancer? That'll go fast. I go, yes. Yeah, uh, you won't have time for cancer. Yeah, we'll we'll just have to be on call for some of these uh, last minute podcasts. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, Chad's going into failure. We let's do one more. Yeah. Until, until finally this podcast is just Andy coughing into a microphone. No, it'll just it'll just be a live cam on the squirrel. <laughs> He's ready to go today. He, somebody knows I got my uh, pockets full of nuts. <laughs> he, saw, he saw the colonel over there next to you. He said, uh, yeah. Andy's got treats. Yeah, well, he knows podcasts. That's the story of your life, Andy. Mm-hmm. Someone's all expecting you nuts in your pants. Yeah, I only see a half a half. I only see the top. I of know, we gotta... That's very clown like. There we go. Oh, there he oh, is. Oh. Now we're seeing Sad. the whole. Uh oh. Bailey, Bailey got, got back, back, right? <laughs> Bailey got back. Yeehaw. I need to. I need to go to Plan B. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be seventy-five dollars from each of us. <laughs> I could have swore I was on the pill. What happened? In my experience, that's got to be done immediately. Is uh is losing hearing on one side of your head uh, a coronavirus symptom? They keep coming up with new ones, so maybe. Yeah, I know. You can't smell shit. I mean, you know, you can't mm-hmm. smell. Uh, you can't. What? What's the other one? There was can't you can't it, sense of smell and taste. I know yeah, I don't and, have it because I smell bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. Stay, <laughs> staying dirty to make sure your sense of smell never goes away. Like, yeah. What did you What did you smell first when you heard that? <laughs> I went. I, I. You know. I went right into the. I. I fortunately uh, had some cinnamon sitting on the counter, so uh, I didn't have to go, or you know, or whatever. It's like, uh, <laughs> uh, it smells like squirrel asshole. This morning, <laughs> this morning Jenny had to remind me that. Uh, She's like, I was getting ready to head out. And she, I was like, all right, I'm going to head out. And she goes, hey, your toast is in there. I go, oh, yeah, I thought I smelled toast. I just thought I was having a stroke. <laughs> oh, my forgot, God, dude. Forgot I made toast. Yeah, yeah there it goes. I knocked the mic over. Yep. First, of the, first of the, god damn it, squirrel. Just, just once so far. I don't know why I'm skittish about being bit by a squirrel at this point, you know. I I sat in a fucking public place for a, an hour yesterday, and I'm worried about a squirrel bite. Yeah, where were you <laughs> yesterday? I had to go sign. We refinanced the the house, uh, uh, not in a happy way, but just doing a refinance, <laughs> and uh, we had to go sign papers. And then uh, and then I started to have a panic attack at just the whole fucking not just the home signing and the stack of papers, but just the fucking you know the jokes the forced jokes about the hand cleaner and the mask and sitting there with the fucking stiffs and talking about a 30-year loan are you fucking kidding 30-year loan and she is she quarantined i i don't yeah (laughs) (laughs) you're supposed to stay away from everybody but squirrels is the Uh new thing there that makes sense all right there he's gone for a minute look out damn it (coughs) Let's get... What's up, squirrel? <laughs> oh, 
Get uh, the old thing, huh? Yeah, well, we're we're all adjusting gear too, Shaley. <laughs> Shaley scared. needed to move to the other <laughs> side of my screen. Damn it! Well, I yeah, I think I think this will work. I was uh, I was uh, hooking in through the the Wi-Fi in in the car, and then uh, I realized I'm and it was real sketchy, and and I realized. I'm at a casino where there's nobody and their Wi-Fi is still on. So there's oh. there's nobody on the Wi-Fi. So I just nice. hit it and it's working. So the parking lot's sketchy, but the Wi-Fi's good. Good. Nice, nice. Yeah, You're on the road. Making, we're all making yeah. sacrifices. <laughs> 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 There we go. I haven't yeah, sacrificed so think... anything. Everything I've been doing is the same thing I do every other day. I don't. Uh, nothing's changed for me. Oh, shit, wow, yeah. empty. Hey, where's your little Mexican, huh? You need a little Mexican fella walking by, Shaley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I I thought you meant Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew she wouldn't be far. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's enjoying it. She loves these live ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all do. I, I love yeah. it when all of our old ladies got together and they're talking about us shouting. Jenny's like, I can hear Chad from outside his studio. <laughs> my my wife's in uh, in her Bible study online, so they, they talk yeah. about you in a different circle, Andy. Our wives talked yeah. about us in this circle. Your wife talks about you as strangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would like to think they're doing. You know, it's like running. I, they should run a. She should run a positive campaign. There's only 140 thousand openings, so she shouldn't go. She shouldn't go. She's negative. going negative. No, I don't think so. Uh, you no, know, no, not since she saw, saw the hammock I purchased. Cheers and shout out to my lovely bartender Carrie Mitchell. Oh, wait. Cheers. 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 Cheers! Clang <laughs> clang! You gotta, you gotta hit the computer screen now. There's, there's your Mexican fellow. He, he made us breakfast. There he is. <laughs> oh, Pepe. Pepe. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, that's actually well, Pepe's tacos. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that explains that taste. That explains a lot. <laughs> I, I thought I the thought, lime juice had gone. I thought bad. the jalapenos were bad. <laughs> I, I thought that sour cream tasted like my childhood. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, so it, Los Angeles, which is supposed to be uh, under lockdown, is uh, fill, filled with people going about their business up and down the sidewalks. So, uh, so far, it's not working. I think we all say that we've been going. I think you and Mitchell are the only ones who haven't left your house yet. Yeah. Andy's going to the store every day. I, I yeah. got chewed out on Twitter for going to get chocolate milk, which actually I was going to get Jenny Starbucks because she has one addiction. If I had to go to the store every day to get weed, guess what? I would. Yeah. 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 I, I'm well, about to cross my third state line. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, really. Uh, standing in the weed light is the only audience that's uh, out there anymore. <laughs> I saw an article Andy, that said uh, Oregon is legalizing curbside weed deliveries. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I, I should probably because with this balcony, I, I should probably <laughs> fucking you know like uh, the wire. I can throw drugs down. They throw their cat. Well, they the throw bucket. their cash up. Or put the cash <laughs> yes, in a yeah, bucket. Right. There's <laughs> right. an order there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I no, thought you were like buying the weed, not selling yeah. it. I was all hey, you, wrong. And if you want a Don't picture, with, if you want, Andy. If, if you'd like a picture with me, I'll take a selfie of you <laughs> down there. <laughs> yeah, this would be an excellent place. Uh, I could feed, you know, I could uh, I could sell wild turkeys <laughs> and weed. <laughs> I don't. I just got. I think they're, you know, the turkeys. I I think before long, I'm gonna figure out how to kill them. I'm gonna do some naked and afraid <laughs> traps. Yeah, you could uh, you could uh, alter some of those nooses just a little bit and do like a little leg snare kind of thing. I would think. Yeah. Right. Well, the the easy one, and it just does feel like cheating, is the wily coyote. 
is just drop a heavy bag on on their heads while they're eating down below. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have an anvil, but I think you know I, I used to have high hopes on bodybuilding. Uh, I got a few <laughs> of those weights. Oh. I, have, I have a few twenty five pounders around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, gruesome, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, that I'm not killing anything until you know uh, I run out of food here. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, I think killing turkeys is a luxury right now. Yeah. Save those. Yeah, yeah, that'll be but fun. I, I mentioned uh, I mentioned LA because now that uh, I've been following this, I'm just touching my face. Uh, <laughs> Los Angeles is probably about a week or ten days away from having it, it completely explode. So now is the time when we are all really, truly supposed to be isolated so that it doesn't go off like a flash bomb. Yeah, because. Uh, these next two weeks are going to be critical, but it hasn't, uh, no, nothing's changed here really. The stores are closed, but everyone's out walking around. Like Santa Monica Boulevard was packed with people yesterday. So, I mean, you can walk gonna, around, you can get out of your house. Not like this. So, yeah. They don't want yeah, you but like Shaley, I'm, I'm talking about so many people on the sidewalk that there is no way that you're not going to pass the infection along. If any of those people are infected, yeah. it's going to, it's defeating the purpose. Well, sure. I'm for it. Did you? Uh, uh, I'm I, gonna be I re- disappointed if this doesn't turn into at least fifty oh. Jones towns. No, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a lot more than fifty. <laughs> fifty Jones towns per hospital. Oh yeah, yeah. I was thinking tsunamis. Uh, yeah. Fifty tsunamis. That's what I want. We're talking. We're talking white. Jones yeah, you gotta, you point over. <laughs> it's gonna affect white people though so it's gonna be really <laughs> fucked up <laughs> like jonestown it was just like oh though i guess they just didn't know any better <laughs> this is gonna get us all yeah God, darn it uh, there, were, there were a bunch of white people at jonestown yeah but they were just the leaders <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, i mean i mean I know, hey, but yeah, they, they, they all came out of the United thing. States. They didn't originally, he didn't go over there and start a fucking cult. Yeah. No, no, yeah. they, were, but, they were definitely yeah. not all white people because if it would have been all white people, they wouldn't have chosen Kool Aid as the drink du jour. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, they, you try, you eat, try serving Kool Aid to a bunch of white people, there's going to be a lot of belly aching. <laughs> and not in the right way either. Not in the good the way. <laughs> the kind of belly anyway. aching. Yeah, ear, they, you complain about it and not, uh, not getting the righteous drink, and then, uh, oh, this hurts. There was plenty of belly aching to chill and stuff. Yeah. The thing it's funny. Uh, well, it's not funny. It's a, it's it's. I didn't real. You know, you realize people are fucked up. Okay. And I had it like I I, t- I tweeted this today about or uh, I had a joke in my act about killing elderly people and like you know they won't care or they like and it was cruel and people would complain about it and or whatever. And now it's like kind of just eh. Well, a bunch of old people die off. They're gonna you know clear up some space or whatever. It's like. Yeah, but it's a pretty cruel way to go down. It's like uh, every old person, you know, getting bit by a fucking poisonous snake and laying out in the desert to die alone. Guess what, Andy? My my grandparents are both in their mid-80s, and I keep going to visit them. My grandpa just n- wants to die. Everything yeah. is fucking quitting. It's, it's a horrible death no matter how it happens. I was looking yeah. forward to this. Their thing is, is he's like, well... I guess it's good that I'm still here because your grandma needs me to help her with some stuff. I'm thinking they both want to go at the same time, not leave the other one behind, oh. in which case this is a perfect situation. Chad, I have to go walk on Chad. Santa Monica Boulevard. Well, yeah. Chad, Come on don't over. you... Don't you know when people are dropping obvious hints? Uh, it's like, oh, would you, <laughs> there's something yeah. grandma and grandpa both would yeah. love to have, he was, Chad. He uh, was trying to you, get... Yeah. He was trying to get me to take his tools. <laughs> you need any of these tools? I'm not gonna yeah. use them anymore. Yeah, yeah they know. You, they know you put your dog down. They're just asking for similar yeah. help. Like uh, Chad, can I lick the inside of your elbow? Yeah. No, yeah. they don't. They're they're saying they don't want to go down that way. They're saying they know Chad. Can oh, they want to go first. Yeah, they could. Yeah. Chad could go over there with two two finger twitches. Grandma and Grandpa <laughs> are off to heaven. You know. Yeah. Well, I don't want to get in trouble. That's the problem with that. <laughs> uh, 
yeah. I'd like to think that law enforcement would respond to that kind of call. <laughs> <laughs> I just killed my oh, grandparents. Man. Okay, well, we're going to, I'm sorry, we're having a lot of calls right now. We're going to put you on hold. <laughs> We're why why did you kill him? We're, we're only in... dealing with people who are thinking about killing people right now. We can't. Do... <laughs> How old were they? They were in their mid eighties. Okay, we're gonna put you on hold. Yeah. Okay. okay the governor says it's fine. Yeah. And if you know any other people in that age bracket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my grandpa openly laments that Doctor Kavorkian is not around anymore. There is no more Doctor yeah. Kavorkian. God, yeah, she wants she wants it so bad, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's she's talking about all the good old classics, Doctor K, <laughs> the Black Plague. Yeah. Oh, the pandemic I, of nineteen eighteen. That was a good time. I, Boy, I put I, my I, grandma down. I tell them all the time. I, I, it sucks watching you guys get old and die, man. I don't want to fucking get. If anything, it's just solidified that I need to check out way early. I do not yeah. want to get into the mid '80s and just watch shit fall apart. Well, we with those liver numbers. Remember that Def Leppard song? It. It's better to burn out. <laughs> Remember that Def Leppard? It's better to burn out than asphyxiate on your own fluids. Or no, <laughs> fade away. But <laughs> they're still performing. <laughs> They're in the target age, though. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get me one of those ventilators, but I'm Whoa. just going to use it to load weed smoke in and pump it into my face. Here's a, <laughs> there's a fucking sign of, uh, there's a sign of progress. Uh, not, th not the kind of progress that will save anybody, but that car has been under a tarp for about two years. Turns out someone has time to work on it, finally. <laughs> 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 Got it up and running. <laughs> or they let him out of jail early. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that You're could be it. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that could be that. The, Yes. Like a yeah. I wonder if it belongs. There's a guy about two years ago who said, I'm gonna fucking kill myself, and then the police showed up and I haven't heard a peep from him since. And that would make sense because that's the He's car back, that I think baby. That, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh I did a attempted dog rescue uh the other day. Uh there's well, I guess what? it was well, it was a, sort of a dog rescue, but there's a fucking dog named Austin down, down, the, just down there by that car that fucking yaps. And there's these two ladies trying to rein it in, and it just kept fucking yapping and running from them. And I yelled, I yelled, I didn't think anyone was out there, but I go, shut your cunt, Austin, or I'm going to come down and end your fucking life uh, like you do. You know, because I know how sound to like it. the way most. Dog rescues start. Well, yeah, like you, like you do in a dog rescue. We're following you. Well, he wasn't. He wasn't responding to politeness uh, from the ladies. They were like, you know, I waited treat. for the rescue part. Yeah, yeah they were. Yeah. They were. They and were going. Just used tough love on Austin treat, the dog. Treat. Well, here's what I did wrong: is I brought my dog, and we've rounded up others before, and but uh, we got on the wrong side of Austin. I wanted to uh, push him back towards his house. <laughs> and uh boy austin took off the other direction and i ain't heard it since wait i was in hot i was in hot pursuit for about a half a block going come on austin come on buddy and, uh, <laughs> he, he, he took off he just kept fucking going and i was like uh, so, ah shit under the circumstances i guess you know it worked out the best way it could have <laughs> well, oh yeah this Austin, when I was an you, air, you when I was an Airbnb, for, when I was an Airbnb manager, Austin <laughs> woke up several guests. <laughs> I was retired. That's, now, this is actually very smart of you because a lot of people are uh, using this time to improve their businesses. So, uh, as an Airbnb manager, you're just using this time to make your uh, place a little more attractive to the customer. I think that's, that's smart. Exactly that's why I'm fixing up the hanging tree. I've got new bark. I put I put hemlock bark. New, under wait, 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 wait. That's not how it works with trees. Well, you can't just get new bark. <laughs> you don't get those big bags. I you just put it on one piece at a time. Got, <laughs> a piece on new bark like in the tree. Like Andy Dufresne didn't have time to dig out a Shawshank. I made bark. <laughs> one. Bark off one, the tree. Put one gold knife, knife at a time. 
Andy Dufresne <laughs> turned a whole tree into a pile of bark, crawled out the other side. Andy, I, uh, I love it when, when, when on the other side of this uh, this virus, you could actually put on your uh, getting rid of the dog or or rescuing the dog. You can actually <laughs> say you soundproof your uh, your Airbnb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't want to get a four star because of a fucking dog. You know. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, you've got neighbors who are telling a completely different story. That fucking crazy neighbor brought his dog and just chased our dog off. Yeah. Well, the good You're thing the about the only one who benefited from that, Andy. Well, the dog is well, now starving, huddled in a ditch somewhere, and the neighbor is here's, crying. Here's the thing that I knew I made a little self improvement. Uh, is the ladies before they drove off? They said we've been training around him up. You know, they they I, I'm sure they felt like it was a little coarse in my you know directive to Austin, but they had been dealing with him, trying to round him up and put him in the house. And they said nobody's home there, and their doors wide open. And uh, normally Uh-oh. that would that would catch my ear. <laughs> but with the coronavirus, I figured fuck that. I don't have time to put on a set of gloves and a mask to rifle this medicine cabinet. I mean, I sure, I don't know that they have one, but I assume they do. Yeah. (laughs) I can't believe you're limiting yourself like this, Andy. Those people didn't go to China. Just go through their medicine cabinet. Their fucking doors wide open. Yeah. Yeah. There'll be other opportunities. (laughs) I think think that's what it is. You're not lazy. You just, you realize that there's, They'll be down the road. I've always had it. They're they're gonna they're gonna be out looking for their dog for a while. Oh yeah, yeah, time. Here's the thing: I've always had a real legal question. It's like when a a, an insurance company declares something an act of God or whatever. The term "breaking and entering" does it apply when the door is open or there's a dog door and you fit into it? Ah. you know, uh, on one you haven't broken anything. Uh, yeah, I know. But you didn't I, enter. That's why it's breaking yeah. and entering. I know. No, <laughs> it should just be called entering then without permission because <laughs> breaking sounds like you're vandalizing shit. No, I'm just removing stuff and replacing it with other stuff that's yeah, less effective for uh, that might be a little less effective for killing pain. You know, <laughs> I think breaking and entering <laughs> could be if you turn the doorknob and walk into someone else's house. Right. That, I would never, I would never, me. I would never do that. I would wait, you know, that's, that's, you know, like, that's why I didn't break into Lance Armstrong's motel room. Uh, uh, like, you know, I, 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 the door was open and I could have, uh, you know, I guess that would have been entering. That is, that's anyway, I would, I, uh, side, it doesn't have to be myself. as literal as Hold you on. think it is. Can yeah. we go back to one thing that we skipped by a little quickly once again? Andy, did, yeah. did I hear you right? Do you take, like, naprosin and fill people's medicine jar back up after you steal their real stuff? Like a kid refilling the, the, the vodka right. jar with water? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to notice them Oxycontin look a lot like um, breath mints they sell at Trader Joe's. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I can't use a I can't use a hundred breath mints. <laughs> I'll trade them with the neighbor. This, these oxes aren't working, but my my breath yeah. is fresh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I'd like to think I've broken a few chains of addiction in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly, you've created one of your own. Well, I li- I'm a better uh, drug I'm a better drug addict than some. You that's know? true. Uh, yeah. I don't, you know. Andy goes around spreading placebos and fucking right. helping people yeah. break their addiction. That's nice. There should be a TV show about that. I I can count the times. Uh, I well, I can. I've never had the police show up and take me to the mental ward because I've over medicated and mixed it with tequila. Uh, I've hidden from the police in similar states, <laughs> but I've never. <laughs> I've never, you know, sat out there sobbing and waiting for him, you know. So you've never I mean, been caught, so it's really yeah. you don't have a problem. Well, yeah, no hiding, hiding under a car and keeping your mouth shut for a minute, you know, that's all you got to do. <laughs> and you're telling me you did that? <laughs> I've done, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I've never been taken to a mental hospital because I've taken too many drugs. I entered a place and removed some of those drugs so that that person could get the help they needed. And she talked 
too close to my face and had bad breath. So it was ironically funny. (laughs) 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 One person. Yeah. One person. It it was doubly ironic because the reason she had bad breath was because of the oxy that she was taking. Well, she was she was in pain, but it wasn't that kind of pain. <laughs> I was in the other kind of pain. <laughs> the pain you need those for. <laughs> um, all right, I have a question. When were you uh, near Lance Armstrong's open hotel room door? The tour to California. I was touring. Yeah. I was I was on a different tour. I was I was going to. Uh, I did a gig. down the hallway of, of uh, floor you know, two. I did a couple. I told you guys this. I cut a couple. I of don't gigs remember. I uh I can't. I it was like in San. I I uh I was I bombed in L.A. I had an opportunity and I ruined it. And then I was driving back. I was at the comedy store or the improv. And I don't even think Erickson was there. But somebody goes, "Hey, we're going to a party at Rob Zombie's house." And uh, and I was already in a bad mood, so it's like I don't know, you know, <laughs> this could get really dark. I'm, I'm in a dark head place, and I don't want to go fucking party at Rob Zombie's right now. So I drove, and I slept on the beach in Santa Barbara, where all the oh, there's all the campers and shit. And then the next day, I went to a hotel, uh, and I was gonna go clean up, uh, and I couldn't get in the swimming pool. And whoa, 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 whoa. this is that thing where you just. Stroll well, into a hotel. You didn't go in and get a room. To well, no, clean up no. I, I just yeah. want to. Make, yeah. I know I, what you're going to do. Yeah. Right. I, I, I want s- that to be clear to everyone that you yeah. on premise, basically w- breaking and entering at a hotel. <laughs> and, no, again, so, again, there's no breaking. I, I was the a, doors I, slide right open when you walk up to it. What's breaking and entering? I had a nice breakfast. <laughs> and I wanted to go take a shower upstairs. And, uh, I had a key to a different hotel chain that would not open up the area where I could go shower without bothering anybody. So as I was walking down, I saw an open door and I started to push that door open. And I kind of it just it creeped me out a little bit that somebody <laughs> might be, in. you know, it felt like somebody was hovering on the other side of the door. It, really, it was like I almost felt like I could there's a shot, you know, it just. Usually I'd just go right in, take the Bible, and then, you know, turn on the TV. You thought it was and... a trap? You thought it was yeah. a trap? Yeah, it just felt, it. well, I didn't want to run into somebody. I just wanted to hang out for an hour or so, you know. Thought maybe somebody yeah. had checked out or whatever. And uh, so I didn't go in, and I walked to the elevator. Right by the elevator, there was a phone. So I called that room because I did notice a fruit basket <laughs> in there. And I figured, fuck yeah, I could, I am, you know, I could use some fruit. To shower, eat some fruit. <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So I, uh, and, and I, uh, called up and, and then I, you know, nobody answers. I'm going to go down and take over the room and, you know, ask for a a late checkout like I do. (laughs) And, (laughs) and, uh, and uh, a guy answers and I go, and then I was like, it kind of caught off guard. I go, Hey, Hey, Steve. And he goes, no, this is Lance Armstrong. Like he said it like that. Like whole name. Yeah. 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 Like, you know, she, why would he? This Why chick would Lance knows, Armstrong say Lance his full name? Cheryl, back me up on this. Lance is a fucking cunt. He's a fucking what? cunt. So Lance Armstrong's on the other end of the phone being uh, like, yeah, this is, and I thought, it felt like somebody was saying, yeah, this is Captain America. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, this is Lance Armstrong. And I go, sorry, dude, I'm calling for Steve. Click. Oh, oh, oh fucking dick. <laughs> you know, I thought it was kind of. You know, well, fuck that guy. And then I got uh, grabbed some newspapers and uh, a breakfast to go because you, you know, had a long drive. And uh, and uh, <laughs> was this the second breakfast you were grabbing on the way out? Well, yeah, yeah, I, I did. I well, there's a waffle yeah. line when I had the original. <laughs> yeah, you know how people take too long to, you know, it's like just make yeah. a waffle and get the fuck out of the way, you know. Uh, <laughs> social distancing, yo. Uh, but <laughs> so I got a waffle and I grabbed the newspapers and I did notice a lot of 10 speed bikes around and, uh, <laughs> I didn't really put the two and two together. I got the Truckee, California where I didn't break and enter. I knew my friend's cabin code out there in Tahoe, <laughs> 1975. I think that's the year the uh, Red Sox did something. But anyway, I just remembered I, that I think code. the breaking part, I just realized that I, I think the breaking part might have to do with you 
not having permission to be there. Break maybe you're yeah. just breaking the threshold without having permission. I'm We're not sure breaking, about that. Yeah, breaking a a, a social uh, a cue of like when <laughs> like you're a, a guest or a robber. So yeah. it's like an it, breaking so it's the like, social trust that we all have that keeps society together. So it's intent. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, but it, anyway, I, I, hold on, Andy. Andy, one second. Don't forget where you're going. I do yeah. want to point out this is how cool Andy is. He walks into the to the breakfast that he is basically broken and entered, and <laughs> he doesn't go for like grab a bagel real quick, uh, some OJ, maybe a. Maybe some of them uh, rubber eggs, you know. Get it. he goes to the fucking waffle maker, yeah, and yeah. fucking, and that's seven yeah. minutes to get. You that gotta one. look like you belong. That's the key. Oh, if you go in and try to grab a bagel and make to yeah. take off, yeah. they'll know you're fucking around. You go uh, to the uh, thing uh, and go, hey, you're out of syrup over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I get mad about you know. I I judge the buffet like I would if I were a guest there, but. Uh, uh, <laughs> Here's the thing is uh, a, a lot of times an orange construction work w is a free breakfast. They say there's no free lunch. Well, put on a construction shirt and hang out at one of them week-long places that gives you a breakfast. And uh, there is a free breakfast. And if you take enough, it's free lunch. <laughs> but, I've done again, I, I walked in. In fact, breaking and entering is not even possible when there's an electric sensor that opens yeah. the door for you. So I walk in and they open the, they, it's like, oh, come on in and have breakfast, you know, without words. And, uh, so, <laughs> but anyway, I got to, uh, to Truckee, California at my friend's cabin where I stayed at for, this is where I would go after the Panama party too. So you, I could stay there that for Truckee, a week. Is that, is that Northern California or is that central? It's by Reno. Northern. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Across it's like, the border. it's like a line of Coke past Reno. <laughs> <laughs> or crank i mean you get there a little quicker on crank <laughs> just a rail past reno yeah uh, and so i got to the place and i read and then the i got the paper i took and it was like tour to california and their you know uh, interview with lance armstrong in particular so I knew, and then I watched that documentary uh, uh, about that uh, Lance Armstrong and the blood doping and shit. Uh -huh, and that was yeah. kind of their that was kind of their mo. They would leave the door open, and then the I, so Lance was there on the other side, being a creepy fuck, waiting for the blood bag oh. guy. I was I was a guy looking to go in and shower and maybe jack off and, <laughs> and loiter for, for a couple hours, maybe swipe a pillow on That's, my way out. That seems like it. Uh... It could have been a hilarious Curb Your oh, Enthusiasm it... style mix-up <laughs> in which Lance Armstrong loses the race because he's injected Andy Andrus semen into his thighs. Anyway, it was pretty much both of our last tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, maybe you guys could go on tour together at this point now. Well, yeah, I did. I mean, I didn't like realize how David Lee Roth is on the road with Kiss. You know what I, I mean? Put, I put a, a a postcard from Truckee and then uh, Cheryl Crow with a mask, and uh, I didn't even know I'd be mentioning Lance. But uh, there you go. It's all connected. That's why I got the Jesus bobblehead because because you know he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh fuck! So uh, yesterday I got a text message from uh, Mishka because uh, D Mishka Shubali, D Mishka Shubali, handsome crooner. So did I. The, uh, That's weird. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, I got mine because uh, he he uh, posted on Twitter. Uh, he tweeted, "Hey, if I give in <sighs> and buy a gaming system, which one should I buy?" And I retweeted it with the comment, "Is it's for you? I don't know. Which one do 20-year-old girls like? <laughs> <laughs> and he, he texted me. He texted me uh, the word bro. <laughs> and I texted back, too far? And this is what this pussy said. And he goes, she was 19, opening line. And he said, Whoops, I mean, I get it. I just teach and shit, and killer termites are going to latch onto this shit like I'm a pedophile. 
I loved her. You know that. I'm not going to explain it to them. So if we can dial the barely legal shit down, I would yeah. appreciate it. So it I sounds- deleted the tweet. I just wanted to, since I deleted the tweet, I wanted to make sure yeah, I you mentioned it, it and his response in full on the podcast. On the podcast. Just to say, come on, dude. I'm gonna. You can't I'm gonna date nineteen-year-old probably... girls and then be mad when someone calls you out Flip for it. Flip shit on it, yeah. I I might dude, be dude. wrong on on this reference, but uh, it's like if Doctor Hook had lawyers in the room uh, telling him he uh, had to change the age of. Wasn't he the one? She's just sixteen. Only oh, sixteen. Chad, what's that uh, song you sing? She's only, only sixteen, but he was only seventeen, so I don't think that's a bad fucking <laughs> uh, song. Yeah. Oh, I know, but to all the lyrics. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's only 19. The lawyer, the legal team, uh, is looking over my song, and they decided, uh, it's just yeah, let's go with 19. But, hey, Gary Glitter, you can't say hey, kid. Just <laughs> drop the kid part. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a great song. I think it's a stadium song, Gary. But I just think hey, kid, <laughs> suck my dick is a little too much. You know, given the legal problems over there in the Philippines, Gary, I really would think that <laughs> this will be a nose, much better. Gary better play you know <laughs> ah, just get the, we're not in love with the hey kid get over and suck my dick part yeah yeah are you married to the kid sucking your dick line well he, uh, or would Mr. you like said- to make a lot of money so you can buy that <laughs> <laughs> Mishka texted me because he was asking me about the video game thing, and I guess he's going to start streaming. So since uh-huh. he's technically going to be my competition now, I'll tell the other story about when I got a text from Mishka about a tweet because I had tweeted something about abortion rights for women. Like it was a joke uh, mm-hmm. uh, 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 that I had written or, or that I put on Twitter, and then he came on there and started calling me a social justice warrior. Oh and, man! Uh, wow. So I said, and it was being ironic, and I got what he was doing. But oh, I yeah, always, okay, gotcha. I always, I always try not to do that to him. So uh, I was like, oh, the gloves are off. Then I guess we're gonna play that game. So I rep- responded, and I said, is it still a social justice warrior thing, though? If I was just making a joke and not trying to fuck naive young girls, <laughs> <laughs> and, I got the, and I got the exact same text message, bro. Like bro. I teach. <laughs> By the way, point of information, the the uh, the young lady that Mishka is referencing in the text that he loved, he met while teaching. She was (laughs) his student. So. That's Uh, yeah. 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 And they they should know that that's what's happening. He uh, did you see his uh, post today? Uh, uh, oh, somebody sent me a thing. Oh, this is embarrassing. Somebody challenged me to do 10 push ups. So I upped the uh, ante and took my clothes off and did. And I, of course, you can only <laughs> see the fucking one picture of his hairy, hairy, well toned body or whatever. It's like, yeah, fucking gross. And, uh, and then he's like, oh, and then I accidentally sent it to the wrong mailbox. So now I'm putting it on Facebook explaining how embarrassing it was to send it to the wrong place. And now I'm going to put it on Twitter. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. You I saw just said, it and hey, I yeah. immediately stopped reading because I was afraid of what I was going to see. So I'm glad I'm hearing you describe it. I, I really didn't see it. I did not it, see it. I I almost wanted to get Inman to go. Hey Inman, you could get him bounced off of Facebook for posting this, but uh, uh-huh. you know, it's just it that seems like it. Funny. It seems that like getting somebody. Fix- yeah, somebody <laughs> getting their ham radio the cut off at this point, though. I mean, <laughs> people need Facebook for communication. It's funny to go. This guy's posting porn of himself doing push-ups and getting taken <laughs> off of there, but he might need to find out about quarantine information or something. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, good. He's a. Yeah, we all like him. You know, I just we feel you, like uh, we we do love you, and we're just jelly. Mm-hmm. And, and you know we're just jelly because we have ethics. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have ethics. Oh, God. Uh, well, you do. You didn't I, kill your I, grand. I love, you didn't kill. You didn't kill your them. grandparents the first fifty times they hinted at it. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless we're going to find out later they've been dead this whole time, and Chad's just using this podcast as an alibi. Alibi, yeah. Uh, yeah. You All see, right. on March 25th, Your Honor, I definitely referenced them being alive. Yeah. So, yep. yeah. I'll be right there, Grandma. 
Yeah. What I'm doing. Did, did you guys? Can I get another get a, bloody Mary, Grandma? Thank you. Did you guys, <laughs> did you guys get the email? Have from another Chad bloody already says, uh, made. Hey, it, just tell everybody we <laughs> podcasted at eleven. <laughs> we, we, we started at eleven, okay? Just uh, yeah, everybody. Good we started today, at eleven. <laughs> possibly have been there. Uh, hey, the uh, the second podcast uh, or vodcast, it's uh, well received, right? Everyone's enjoying that. Sure, man. Why not get two of these a week? Yeah, so far, so good, man. It's, Saw uh, Acme Tiki made that little promo. Yeah, he's just got to add a yeah. word. Uh, Tuesday. When's the when's the second one drop? Do we have a regular time? Or I it- think we're gonna do it Fridays and Tuesdays. <laughs> Seems like the easy. That way, I I have a full day to work with Todd. Right on. So if that let's works for it, you, guys. let's call it Tuesday. If it's, Tuesday. If it's possible, can we do it Tuesdays and Fridays instead? Instead of Fridays and Tuesdays, yeah, yeah. I'll talk to my people and see. Me. I'll see if I can. Uh, I'll run that by the uh, management. Hey, did you guys see that uh, uh, that Stern show? They did the show like this the other day. Everybody from their own oh, home, uh, live yeah. from the bunker. And Ronnie yeah. couldn't figure out his fucking camera. It was the exact fucking <laughs> replica of our first yeah. couple of episodes. Yeah. I was like, it, it, done yeah, it. it. <laughs> I, I'm so I'm so uh, happy to see like the Dan Patrick show doing this kind of uh-huh. thing, and then they have cameras freeze up, and, uh-huh. and uh, it's just uh, yeah. See, uh, yeah, every <laughs> what everybody's got. We're like, this, makes, we're yeah, like the I mean, Simpsons, and everybody yeah. else is like Family Guy right now. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh-huh. And now I now I realize everybody's uh, scrambling to find bobblehead Jesus and tipping over their bong right before going live. Uh, huh? You don't knock over your microphone three times; it's not a successful uh, show. That happened right off the bat, you know. I could sit on the bench the whole second half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your uniform's take, already dirty. Just take your coat off. Yeah, just take your coat off in the third quarter and look angry. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm hey, about uh, I'm about it's... seven hours away from uh, from a 14 day quarantine with Stanhope. Aren't and you gonna, gonna? You'll have to. You got to keep distance from him. You got to keep distance from him because you might be infected, right? Yeah. You have to uh, self isolate. Uh, I think it's gonna be hard to... to convince anyone that I infected him. Well, yeah. probably yeah. just to get over the awkwardness, he'll probably kiss you on the mouth, and then you're. Well, we're, you know. we're probably gonna podcast, right? I mean, you can still hang out with your yeah, family. I, I said it right on the news. Yeah, <laughs> I gonna. I think we're gonna do uh, like uh, thirty days in the whole style. We're gonna right. podcast fourteen days in a row. I swear, if you're missing a great opportunity, if you don't actually do the podcast on Skype with Doug as the Andy character who can't get his I, Skype I, to work, I, I might. <laughs> I don't know how. how we, I don't know how he's set up at the house. I, that'll I know be perfect. In- That's why it'll be perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great. One more. Bisbee, people in Bisbee, Bingo told me that people in Bisbee are avoiding people that they know just visited the fun house yeah, yeah. thinking oh, that you know yeah, yeah. Well, right. Stan, you guys were just in seattle and stuff yeah yeah, 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 have, yeah. have stan hope do this it'll be one more thing he can break and enter from me <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> i don't know if it works that way yeah i know i know he's got well yeah well <laughs> if I've been self-isolated forever, and uh, uh, I trust you guys are probably all right. So if you need me to come podcast, I will. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah, uh, probably tomorrow. But uh, yeah, just anyway, I, I think I think we might be doing. Like I said, I don't know. I, I haven't seen him since uh, Seattle, so uh, um, we'll figure out. But I, I th- he does want to do uh, like fourteen days in a row, which is, you know, I I I like the thirty days in a row thing. That that was that was a long yeah. time. You yeah. just want to put that episode of you being drunk very far into the past. That might have to go away. <laughs> I still got, I still got the Chad. You know, I still got the Patreon one that has to go out with uh, McKinsey. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> one, that was the lie. drunker of the two. But you know, the last three podcasts have just been me drunk off my ass, and then it's not that bad if you record it. Right, Chad, and then you go home and forget about it. I gotta listen to it and edit it. And go, Jesus, did I say that? 
I don't even remember being there. So yeah. <laughs> I've been I've been listening to some of these podcasts just to hear Andy's stories over just because yeah, yeah. I don't I don't you know I it's not a podcast <laughs> that I tell a lot of stories on. It's mostly me laughing at Andy's fucking stories. So I can listen uh, to that over and over. I love yeah, it. So I now, do listen to this podcast uh every week. I, I yep. try to get at least the beginning part because I like to hear the intro to make a commercial on the stand stand up podcast. But then I always end up listening to it and just having it on the background. Like everyone else, I want to hear what Andy said because sometimes I'm laughing so hard I don't hear the end of the story. And, and imagine imagine uh, having like 30 of those going off in your head all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's what I got to deal with. Did that's. You, did, did you just do the fake salami bites? <laughs> <laughs> I caught that. You motherfucker, that was funny. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm eating a salami because it's goddamn. It's it, not about faking people. It's fucking cool. <laughs> Eat the fucking salami. God damn it. Uh, well, uh, Brendan want? Walsh would be very ha- proud of you I right now. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Fucking Andy's got his bases covered, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, that was some shit I took from Inman today about he still uh, Andy poked him on Twitter for something and then uh uh Oh, that was we, funny. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, I saw that too. And he went on he went he went into this rant about how I he how he Inman promoted was doing all this work promoting the big show at the comedy store and I wouldn't do anything to help promote this show and he got it all together himself he got all the acts he booked everybody and what an asshole i am for fucking not promoting it meanwhile pussy. the most promotion that show ever got was on this podcast every week i mean it's not even close wait you said most you mean only only you use the wrong the word only. there oh, only yeah, yeah. And also his whole shit about about getting everybody on the show. It's like he's like, I made sure everybody was was on it, too. And I'm like, oh, really? I'm sure Brendan Walsh must have been a tough get for you, huh? <laughs> fucking Walsh wouldn't answer the phone if Inman called in fucking thousand years. There's hello. No hello. Yeah, this is Norm Wilkerson. <laughs> well, well, let me check my calendar. <laughs> yeah. Turns out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Norm's like Wallace on the wire. He's out of the game. Yeah. Smart one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 W- Wilkerson started social distancing uh, years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When his, when his parents cook. named him Norman. Yeah. <laughs> and that, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, fuck. Good. Well, no, I almost said good old Norm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, we were almost there. Yeah. It's too late for cliches. <laughs> I never liked that, Inman. <laughs> I tried we to. We love James. Yeah. I, I, I love Inman in a way that I uh, love family that I w- won't talk to and can't wait for to pass on. I can, <laughs> you know, he's a lot like that family. What, you got you got even, I, you, you've got your eye on that joke. Kenworth hat? It's a cruel joke now, right? <laughs> no, I don't mean that, James. I hope you know, stay in, don't get the sickness because America needs laughter. <laughs> America needs the 1995 San Francisco comedy competition champion to still be out there doing his yeah. thing. Logging. And they want, yeah. hey, they want to watch Joe DiMaggio get up there and bat too, but it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Where have all the heroes gone? There was a t- there was a time when James Inman had a fifty six joke hitting streak going on, but it was yeah. back in the nineties. Yep, Charlie Hustle they used to call him. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, oh. This is fun. Well, yeah, it's almost like, yeah. it, well, it's become more fun because this is literally the only conversations I've had. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be up for seven episodes a week before this is over with. Oh, so I kept giving the, uh, I, I kept giving the fucking uh, lady, the signing, the uh, whatever the fuck they are, the uh, when you sign your papers, uh, 
They're uh, appraise, well, they're, yeah. It's just some Lawyers. extra real estate. No, real estate step where you go in and you sign papers. It's not with the bank, oh, no. but the escrow, <laughs> escrow people. Escrow, and I was like yeah. sitting there with a mask and she's got the gloves on and every paper slid over there and she, she keeps <laughs> using the same. Okay, well, these are all clean, you know, and ah, oh, it's so fucking hilarious. I, you know, it's like have, it's like having to keep it in. It's like suppressing laughter at church or whatever. It just felt so unnatural to say, would you shut your cunt mouth? We're in a pandemic. Your stupid little fucking hand wiper jokes don't work old people are gonna die in seven days man all right oh initial this one and initial this one <laughs> and well, this one just says that you've initialed out you initialed the other one <laughs> can, can i put on a fucking rubber glove and choke the life out of you is that murder or is, you know I, I guess this lowering is... your interest rate probably is essential business if you really look at it, though. I mean, you're only supposed yeah. to be out conducting essential business, Andy. I've been Didn't lowering my I've been lowering my interest rate <laughs> in everything since like seventh grade. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about nothing. The fucking interest Every... my, in, my interest in my place is almost at zero. Uh... Every... <laughs> Every time Andy goes on stage, he lowers the interest rate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I've been tuning. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been speaking, the Fed. I've been speaking <laughs> truth. <laughs> I've been speaking truth to comedy for too long, and they don't like it. You know, you know, and this isn't really funny, but I remember one time in Appleton, it was uh, there was uh, it, some something in the news, but it said, and uh, I said, hey, or they say it only takes, uh, 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 or they say it takes a village to raise a child, but it only takes a Toyota truck full of Janja weed to stomp the mu the baby's skull and rape the mother and 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 the whole crowd. This is in Appleton, Wisconsin. The whole crowd let out a fucking collective groan. Wait, and that I said, didn't fly in Wisconsin. That joke. Well, that yeah, is, I did so, too just it, now. It, it wasn't a joke. <laughs> it wasn't a joke. <laughs> it wasn't Whoa. a joke. And then I said, maybe that's that why it didn't it work wasn't at a, a joke. See, it they went a, there to see jokes. I know, I know. And then I, I tried to get them, to, you know, and then I, and they booed. And I said, don't boo me, boo your congressman. And uh, and, and then and then I had to win them, I win them back or whatever. And you know how you don't expect, you know how you don't expect somebody, you know, I didn't say that because and then uh, at the end of that night, it was an African guy in Appleton, Wisconsin. He had an Af African kind of, uh, he goes, you are so bad, you are funny. Or you were so horrible, you it was funny. Oh, uh, well, thanks, man. <laughs> I knew it wasn't funny at the time, but it just sounded per like you know, it's like a raise awareness. It's like you know, let's all have a cup, two drink minimum, and fill out comment cards and get all swept up in the moment. But uh, oh, oh, not that far from here, this is going did, on, and it felt fun to ruin the moment. Did you try to sell that guy a support the troops magnetic uh, sticker for the back of his car? Well, it was a different kind of troop, you know. <laughs> Wait, you for, for him, that? troops mean uh, volunteer kids that they round up and uh, give a machete and, and uh, you know, a purpose. <laughs> That's a troop. Did you, was your lead into that in the Apple, Appleton, Wisconsin, and not far from here, meaning Vietnam? Well, I mean, it was, well, I like to bring the, the you know, the global news local. <laughs> <laughs> Think globally, ruin shows locally. <laughs> <laughs> That'll sell a t-shirt or three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, done, the audience man, ruins, done. the audience ruins the bad news. Yeah, they've ruined a few of my shows too. Yeah, that was the one. Luckily, one that time, that time of comedy's over. So, yeah. Do you yeah. ever do you do anything like you knew it was gonna just get a big fucking stink, but it was just fun to do anyway? Sure. Or you don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like a when uh, Stan Hope and me got to uh, jump up in front of uh, Marilyn Manson <laughs> in Portland, and the whole purpose was to get booed, and it's so fucking yeah. liberating. To go up there and just soak up, <laughs> soak up hatred. Yeah, didn't you guys I, pretend? 
pretend to be a morning a morning like radio team or something isn't that what you guys right. were doing yeah, yeah stan hope was up there and he goes hey uh, are you guys like rock and roll well what's more rock and roll than getting yourself some life insurance and uh <laughs> yeah we were, we were the morning zippy team <laughs> yeah, I think I still remember Stan told me that too. You guys were like Boomer and the Stooge or something. Boomer and the Stooge. <laughs> and I, yeah. It's like that. And you know how you guys have seen my mic work, so you know I don't know how to fucking work it even to this day. Oh, no, you were the so, Stooge. I was the Stooge, but I didn't realize <laughs> how live I my didn't mic for a was. I think you were Boomer. There's right. no way no. you were Boomer. I was the Stooge, and then Doug would say something, and then I didn't realize how live the mic was. So I just thought I was fumbling, but you I'd say, you yeah, get yourself some insurance, you big fat pancake face motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it was like very crisp, you know? It's like every one of them was hearing it, and it was hurting their feelings. And uh, But it was like, a, it, it was like I'm sure what uh, uh, having the coronavirus in a week and going to the ER is going to look like is all these fucking hate-filled rage faces going, get the fuck out of here! Fuck you! And uh, we just kept going. It was fucking the best show I've ever... I mean, the best feeling I've ever had doing comedy was <laughs> being well, food. It, it didn't hurt at all that Marilyn Manson was in the wings cackling and yeah, totally but... crow. I mean, that, you, I mean, you guys, it wasn't... I mean, you, didn't, you didn't have any idea that, that somehow this was going to go south. The guy who everyone was there to see said, go do this. So, I mean, you guys had some confidence oh. going on stage. Yeah. Well, it's like it's, it's like, like opening a, for Doug. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like opening for Doug. You know, you're probably going to get food and there'll probably be some drugs afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the worse it goes for you, the more fun the headliner has from the wing. Oh, yeah. Watch yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, perfect. If, if being booed off stage, opening for Marilyn Manson was the lowest of lows, sitting on Marilyn's lap, uh, doing a bump off of his own personal uh, uh, face on his own mirror, uh, not necessarily drugs. It was, uh, uh, you know, uh, fake drugs like you do backstage at rock shows. Show, show drugs. Yeah. You're I don't wanna, sitting on his lap? I don't want to out. Hey. Yeah. You're worried uh, about ruining, tarnishing Marilyn Manson's <laughs> reputation. All right, all right. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, Andy, wait a minute. Wait a minute. A Andy, beer Andy. In his backstage of himself. Oh, I, stole his, I stole his coffee machine, and I don't want to fucking get anybody in trouble. I literally uh, had to have Todd bleep out the name of uh, one of our drug dealers that right. you named, fully named in one of these episodes. <laughs> right. I think I got salami fully in my named. Teeth. <laughs> I remember but yet, that. You're so worried that Marilyn yeah. Manson's going to take a PR hit over right. his respect. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'm going to fucking say on the Issues with Andy podcast, Marilyn Manson. I'm going to name some. I'm going to name did a some bump, I'm, apparently. I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't I'm know. Gonna, what does you tell me what it means? Listen, no, I'm, I'm, right now, right now, I am. <laughs> I'm either. He's worried I'm, that, that he did, Andy did the drugs, <laughs> and he's afraid Marilyn's going to take the hit. Okay, oh, I'm 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 Corey Haim right now. I'm gonna name names, okay? Uh, <laughs> Doug Stanhope was in with Marilyn Manson and in a dark room, like he hangs out in his little cave, pre-show and after-show cave. And I was a bit of I was a bit hoovering. I kind of felt like there might be drugs going on, you know, maybe because <laughs> I could hear them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just had Corona, and uh, and then uh, and then I walk by the door, and then uh, and then uh, I I go by a fifth time, <laughs> and uh, did you, and did I you hear. Try calling the room to see if Steve is <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah, and I hear. Hey, this is uh, this is Lance Armstrong. <laughs> I go fuck. How did you get in there? Uh, uh, but uh, so then I the, I I walk by again, and then I hear. Hey, a train. There's a bump in here for you, <laughs> Marilyn Manson serenading me with my That's man show exactly how nickname. Well, Marilyn Manson sings as all. Well, I don't. You yeah. heard my Chris Rock. <laughs> I don't do impressions. <laughs> the NAACP asked me to stop <laughs> with my impressions. <laughs> so you just walked in front of the dressing room door like a bunch of times. Hoping no, that they would notice it, no. you were out there and invite you in. Oh, right? That's what I would mean. That's well, what you're doing. Just hanging out outside the door. Well, it was a bum. I look at. I mean, the band was cool, but they were all kind of bummed. So we were smoking <laughs> weed in the bathroom, but they were all just, you know, 
uh, bummed about their shows and shit. You know, I was like, I'm like, fuck it, man. It's over. Have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, shit, we're, you know, they were a little rusty or whatever. I'm like, you know, fuck it. You guys are a bummer. So then I was like, you know, there's got to be better drugs up, up okay. in the, you know. And the band was like, oh, maybe it's cool for you, Stooge. You get to go back to your killer morning show next week. <laughs> we got to fucking stay on the road with this guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh God damn it! Yeah, so I sat on Marilyn's lap and did a bump of fine cocaine, and uh, and we all learned that that's not social distancing. <laughs> yeah. I think that it's probably just a, a a holdover from your history of sitting on grown men's laps and doing drugs. Yeah. It's probably well, just a well, natural for you that when drugs are out, you just naturally sit on the alpha male's lap. Well, because oh, yeah. I got a brother who was like, uh, so his his niece is, a, or my niece, it's my niece, and she's a goth. I never talk to him or, you know, never see her. Talk. I, I guess she's, anyway, she sent me a thing after I posted a picture sitting on Marilyn Manson's lap and was all into it. And she said, my dad thinks he's the Antichrist. I'm like, good. I did drugs with him and I sat on his fucking lap. My brother's a dick. <laughs> He's probably listening to this, so I won't even name him, but it wasn't Larry or John. It wasn't, it wasn't Dave. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he was like, uh, <clears throat> yep. So, if you're going to sit on a man's lap, you can't really do better, I guess. Yeah. You know. If you're going to sit on a man's lap, he might as well be named Marilyn. <laughs> well, I, I it's full circle because uh, the first porn star I was encouraged to jack off while watching from my pedophile Steve uh, was Marilyn Chambers, and that was ah, when I when I when I oh, confronted full circle. Yeah, like, <laughs> and I'm wearing the Adidas sweatsuit. He used to buy me Adidas sweatsuits, but uh, Steve used to rant. Well, he he he. It was back in the day in the video stores where they just have a book uh, that uh, you could look at. And then select them, and then <laughs> me and Dad would select pornos, and uh, and and I picked Marilyn Chambers, and he was oh good choice, and he gave me the backlog story or whatever, but we rented Insatiable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, gave total you, teaching. he gave you the Marilyn Chambers backstory. Well, he said, you know, like, he, yeah, there was so big, you know, she's a big breakout star with Behind the Green yeah. Door. I mean, you, can't, whatever. Door, you yeah. can't rent Jurassic World 3 without <clears throat> but, knowing what but happened. It, you know, I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, he, he said, he said, we, you know, he, he I guess he kind of, I don't know if he said or it was just implied that we didn't need to see Green Door to understand Insatiable. <laughs> <laughs> so we rented the Insatiable and we took it there and, uh, and then, uh, uh, you know, he was, he was sitting behind me. And this is why I ended up jacking up at my grandma's place because I was. This is a pre. This is a prequel uh, to last week's uh, Tuesday's episode. Uh, I would watch. I would. He, he, we were, we were rented. Uh, we'd go to other movies. We go to mainstream stuff, but we liked a lot of different movies. And uh, so we rented Insatiable. And uh, and then he was in. I, I started rubbing. You know, I was like, I, you know, I was reaching in my pants or whatever, trying to adjust the situation. You know, I was like, even with a seventh, uh, sixth grade wiener, it still needed some adjustment or whatever. So I had to. Uh, <laughs> and then and he said, and then I remember him behind me going, "It's okay if you want to take it out and play with it." And I remember thinking, I didn't know what that meant at all right. <laughs> you know i didn't know what that meant it had it was the scene had to do with uh the scene was uh a, a, let's see i think her car was broke down and there were anyway there was some gas siphoning that needed to be done and then <laughs> <laughs> and i thought he had so it was had something to do with the car he said, he'd "Go ahead and take it out and play with it." Uh, oh, what he was referencing? He was encouraging part. me to jack off while yeah, watching the you movie. You had no idea what he meant by it. No, not really. But when yeah. I was at my grandma's and and I was watching Lady Chatterley's Lover, uh, <laughs> and, oh, classic, Andy. Like and grandma Leonard was Bolton grandma was sleeping. Tea. Yeah, you, yeah. Well, you finally felt insatiable. I just, I just felt like I needed more intrigue. <laughs> like there just needs a, to be a lady on a horse. Yeah, instead of a, a strong <laughs> get his cock sucked by uh, Marilyn Chambers, 
I needed, uh, and, and having a creepy guy encourage me from behind, I need grandma <laughs> snoring in a chair and a little lighter <laughs> on the porn, okay? I don't need the full penetration thing, you know? <laughs> I'm a classy, I'm a classy kid. <laughs> you still have a young enough to have an imagination <laughs> right yeah. yeah no i went from playing with big jim to being encouraged to play with myself by big steve <laughs> i love the visual of him like behind you coaching you like like someone spotting you doing the uh, right. the, the yeah. weightlifting that was a, a joke I tried to make out of it. It was like my friends would go to basketball camp and I would go to, you know, get encouraged to jack off by, you know, I'm not even sure this guy played in the minor leagues. You know? it's, like, it's like getting suckered to a camp with a superstar. It's like, I don't know, man. Where did you say you coached again? Yeah, yeah he, he might have played for the Bears, but it was only during the strike. Yeah, <laughs> he was a terrible coach. Like you know, it's like, you know how like you know coaches try to build up an athlete or whatever. And uh, just because I made a basket at Great America and got a small stuffed animal, I don't think I need a whole massage for that. You know, <laughs> how about a you know we work up to that? How about a quick you know high five and a good job or whatever? And I understand it. He had hand braces, so it would have been awkward to to do the high five, but. I don't need a full massage later, you know? Well, it was a good shot. Right, it was a good he, shot. He wants you to massage you with. He's got hand braces. It's the same reason well, he's not giving you the high five. When when he wasn't hugging them hand braces, he had pretty functional hands, you know. Okay. <laughs> they could do pretty uh, uh well I I can I I compared it to uh like a dungeness crab without claws. You know, I picture more of an Edward Scissors hands <laughs> trying to give you a back massage. And he never he didn't have the he didn't have the tight pincher. <laughs> and neither did you after yeah. you were done with him <laughs> well, that, was, that was the thing it's like a, you know I, I sort of felt like i was a physical therapist you know squeeze come on you can you can make a you can do better than that come on your kung your kung fu group is like gi joe's come on make a real fist come on pal you know i never encouraged him in fact i did the opposite <laughs> i just i yeah I, t I guess I tried to discourage it. <laughs> uh, well, we should always end the podcast on a very happy and uplifting note. Yeah. Uh, I feel. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm hoping my pedophile doesn't get the coronavirus. Is that some uh, compassion? Yeah, I think I, that's, I, yeah, that's empathy. I know. I wanted him to see the movie that prevents us now. <laughs> at, well, uh, he ain't going to yeah. live that long, bro. Yeah. Same as compassion. I'll you save it for... I'll save it for reason. I'll save it for future plugs. <laughs> <Hang on. laughs> oh, God damn it! Uh, you don't know what a come down <laughs> opening that glass door and walking inside is going to be. I'm not sure I can do it again. Can't. Have you tried sleeping on the patio, hey. Andy? That's you what I bought to... the hand. No, I bought that hammock. <laughs> I'm you thinking don't have way to... ahead. And by the way, you don't have to tell her the podcast is over. No, I'm yeah, I know that. You know, you can just be out here every day podcasting. Yeah, yeah. talk to right? yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's gotta mm -hmm. do more. And hey, you know, we'll get a Patreon going and then you can do like you know right. solo reports from our for our Patreon listeners yeah. from the uh, deck. It'd be perfect. Yeah. You can just find people on Skype. His Skype works now. I don't true. Want to also true. Yeah. He doesn't know where the record button is, though. That's right. He's still, they're still running. There's one still running on his computer. What's that? Uh, yeah, there is. I turned one off before. Yeah, I had to do that twice. I turned them all off last time, and there were still two actives. <laughs> I, I am. My Bloody Mary is empty, so that signals to me that the uh, hourglass has run out of sand. So... Yeah. Uh, Let's, uh, let's, any, let's any, plug anything we have coming up. We have nothing. There's nothing. There's no, no, we don't. Chad, Chad, Shank, no. Chad Shank's on uh, streaming uh, oh, almost, uh, right. a regular. Yeah, we streamed like nine hours last Saturday. We streamed like seven hours yesterday. Uh, we got a well, new video game that everybody's well, all addicted to. So. Oh, yeah? what, What's that? What I like. Uh, Call of Duty. Uh, Modern They're Warfare. Always we called, get, oh. What I like is when you guys do. We can get a bunch of people. When you do the live ones at uh, at Doug's place, but you got how are you going to do that? You know, 
uh, you guys are all handling the same darts. I'm watching that going, oh, no, or whatever. But it, <laughs> no, we have our, we have our yeah, own Yeah, everyone darts. has their own darts. Yeah. If, but if you guys if you guys don't uh, die or whatever, it's a lot of fun to just tune into a party in progress and just be a fly on the wall because uh, you can't yeah. go anywhere. And it's like, yeah. oh. Well, that's, that's interesting you bring that up because that's one of the things I'm talking to Doug when I get back um, uh, of utilizing, you know, this time in sequestered. To, uh, to do some more stuff online. And he wants to also. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have more information on the next podcast. Suddenly, All Grandpa's right. embracing new technology. Yeah, it's odd, <laughs> right? Uh-oh. Get him a so. TikTok account. <laughs> <laughs> no, do not do that ever. Oh, no. man, that would, I would we watch do that. Have, uh, we do have our, our Patreon uh, <laughs> channel, for, uh, Stand Up's podcast. That's how uh, Chad and I make some money, so... If you go to uh, patreon.com slash Stanhope Podcast, uh, it's one extra podcast. It's only for the po- uh, Patreon subscribers. And uh, the next one going out is the last one that we have canned, and then we'll be recording some more. And, uh, yeah, and we've got more podcasts coming out on Stanhope's podcast as well. All right. Sounds great. Uh, great. And I want to thank Skeptical Degenerate from Twitter. He sent me uh, weed money uh, so I could go to the weed store and stock up. Uh uh, on my, I uh, pay. He asked my pay. He goes, "How's are you got enough weed?" And I go, "Fuck, I'm you know worried when the stores close." And then he PayPal'd me money to go get weed. So thanks to him. Uh, and nice. uh, my comedy special. Uh, apparently, Paul Prevents is uh, in lockdown and has a, a lot of time to work on on uh, not only the movie but uh, also on the uh, uh, comedy special. And he says that he, he's very uh, positive about it, and he's going to uh, have a final d- or a, a rough draft for me to look at in two weeks. Oh, nice. So I don't know where I'll shop it or if I'll shop it or what the fuck. Uh, well, but there won't a, be any people left to shop it to, but still, it'll yeah, be nice to have some closure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put it up before Probably. most of the people who uh, contributed die. Uh, <laughs> yeah uh but uh yeah and it's not it's you know if people uh need a distraction from the impending doom this isn't that uh <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that kind of you know <laughs> i got, I so, got yeah. another i got another oh, yeah, plug good. as well you guys that's uh, not for me but uh something that i saw uh on uh, twitter the other day and i watched uh jay white cotton has a special on YouTube, and he is incredibly funny. And uh, give what give that yeah. a watch; you'll like it. It'll pass some time for you while you're uh, locked down. But uh, Jay White, Cotton, Where is it's that? called. Where did you get that? Uh, I retweeted it on Twitter, uh, but it's okay. I think it's called Jazz Funeral uh, on right, right, YouTube. Yeah. He has it set up. Oh, cool! There you go, Jay White Cotton, one of the best. Yeah. Check it yeah. out. Yep. All right. Um, get out there and uh, bump into people, touch them, breathe on them, sneeze on them, cough on them. High five, uh, low five, everything. six feet under. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll shit. see you. Later. See you guys. I'm smoking with hand cleaner water. <laughs> <I love laughs> oh, that guys. Hey, if I die in my fluids, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>